but we'll do that later on that way we'll get to more gold dice for the event no epic no legendary <laughs> nada see all you lucky people out there getting three legendaries out of your 30 i'm telling you you're super lucky extremely extremely lucky come on zarloth no I'm hoping for just one cool legendary that we don't have. That's all I want. One really cool one that I don't have. Again, I guess I would take a frost. Come on, Zarloth. Let's go, buddy. Cypris. Okay, that would be cool. This would be extremely cool if I didn't have him. Okay, we've got all those. All dupes. Come on, baby. Give me a legendary now. That way, we'll get a guaranteed legendary by the time we're done with the event. All dupes again. It's not looking good. Stop getting Garius. That's all I pull, man. Back to back. Him all the time. There we go. Legendary. Come on. Something I don't have, baby. Let's go. Ooh, I don't even know what I want. I just have no clue. Something fun. Something actually usable. That would be good, right? Okay, it's new. This is new, and he's, and he's good. A lot of debuffs, right? A lot of debuffs. I don't know if I need to make him tanky or what. Ripkus? You guys ever play him before? Hmm. We'll go look at him. We'll look at him in a second. I saw your review on Season 2. I agree with most of it. Yeah? I was really looking forward to starting fresh. I know a lot of people were, and I told you guys. I told you this. I said all you people that are like, Seasons are amazing. Seasons are going to make it so that you can keep up with whales or any of this kind of stuff. Um, I knew you would be disappointed. I knew it wasn't going to be, because I went through a couple seasons already through the test server, and I knew it just wasn't going to be what you were expecting. All the content, but it's still a major grind. Yeah, it's, uh, is what it is, I guess. Is what it is. Come on, one more legendary. That was cool. I got Ripkiss. He's decent in PvP. I probably won't field him in PvP for what I have. I have a lot of cool new heroes for PvP if I want to field those guys. But I don't know if I would necessarily... Maybe. I mean, he does cause a lot of havoc, right? But we've got other heroes to put up slow speed. And does he do a stun? I got the epic I wanted? Which one? I didn't... What? I got Zarloth or I got Cypherus? Hey, Swifter, thanks, man. Appreciate that. All these good rewards. We got some Lunar Shards. Okay, we'll get to 60 by the end of the event. 50? What are we at? We're only at 40 right now. Man, I'd like to pick up this 2,000, but we'll wait. It was summoned. I was, uh, you were summoning yesterday? What was going on? Let's see who I got. They say I missed an epic, but I don't think I did. Where's Ripkiss at? Let's check him out. But this only happens one time, right? The hero gains healing equal to 50% of the healing the enemies receive. Can only be triggered once every... Wait, this happens all the time? Somebody told me one time way back in Season 1 that this only happens once. But it says every one second. That's a lot of healing if it really works. Like anytime any ally enemies get healing, he gets 50% of that healing is a lot. Three by three, knock up and stun. Okay, we do have a good stun there. For how long? Three seconds. I don't really care about the knock up. I don't really understand knock up. Like knock up should knock people out of doing their abilities. Say they're casting an ability, it should theoretically, like, it, like in the beginning of the game, once we started playing, it took us through this whole um, kind of over near the test dummy where it showed us how to knock people up and stun them while they're casting. And it should knock up is supposed to, you know, if you were doing an ability, it's supposed to stop you completely. Like a stun will just stun them and then they'll do the ultimate afterwards. But if they're in the middle of doing their ultimate, the knock up's supposed to make it so they kind of miss it completely. Attack penalty, recharge penalty, right? All the different random stuff. But what's the percentage? 35% chance to reduce their ultimate gauge by 20%. So we've got a 50% chance. Three hits with a 50% chance to reduce ultimate gauge 20%. That's a lot. Especially if you hit all of it. 
and then you got a hundred percent chance to inflict these debuffs. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of debuffs, a lot of control and debuffs all together. I like that. So somebody said I got oh I got Cypherus. They were right. I did pull her. I got Cypherus. Hey, I'm happy about I'm I'm happier about that than anything else. I didn't get Zarloth, so Zarloth is the last epic that I need. The very last epic that I want, that I want to play around with. No other epic I care about. And I think I'm only missing... Um, maybe just him. Maybe that's the only one. Zarloth is like the... The white whale. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, this guy. Nathaniel. Yeah, Nathaniel's cool too. Nathaniel's actually really good. So these two... Three epics total, but I did get Cypherus. I am actually happy about this. She does healing here, which is really good healing. Even though it hurts herself, that's fine. Here, increased defense two, which is very strong. Even though she only brings people back at 30% of their max HP, still really good. Like, this is this is good. Zarloth is fire. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. One day we'll get it. We might have to wait till we get to those banners to where you get a guaranteed epic at 25. If you summon 25 times, you get that epic box where you can pick one of the epics that are exclusive to that banner, and then we'll get him. Because if he pops up on one of those, I will summon 25 and get him for sure. Because it's hard to go after... Like, the odds of me ever pulling him through normal shards aren't high because they keep adding more and more epics. It gets harder. But that's why they have those cool banners, so. Irma, what's going on? Oh, I don't have Irma either? What am I missing? Ripe Kiss was one of the first and only legendaries in beta. He got ninja buffed. His turn removal was like 85%. Now it's 100% per hit. Attack defense so as much as he could survive. Right. Yeah, you just want him to cause like mayhem over there. Cause mayhem. And he has like an, an iframe too. When he does his ultimate and he pops out under the ground, you can't actually target him during that time. I noticed that a lot when I was fighting him in Fey Meander. Because you fight him a lot in Fey Meander. But whenever he actually pops out of the ground, it kind of turns small. And you see him like do his weapon back and forth. You, he has like an iframe, an, an invincibility frame to where you can't even do something to him. Which I thought was pretty cool. thought it was kind of annoying because I was doing Fey Meander. But it's pretty cool now that we have him. I'm missing Irma as well. Yeah, but she's she's cool. I'll just take Zarloth though. Give me Zarloth. I pulled Zif Cipherus as one of my very first epics. Understand her strengths. Been watching your videos. She's just a really strong, good healer, and increased defense too is very hard to come by. Any kind of increase in defense you can get to mitigate damage for your team is extremely strong. Having increased defense and then having her heal on a battle skill, which means every let's is hers a 10 second or a 12 second. Sometimes when the battle skill is good. Even with scrolls, they make it to a 12 seconds instead of a 10 second. Let's go check it out. Because I've only been able to play her on the test server and I don't remember. 10 seconds. So yeah, every 10 seconds, getting this massive heal is very strong. This is a heal to your whole entire team. It does hurt her, so it's good to have kind of a gear. Like last season, you would put on the gear that gives her 20% of her max health every time she casts her ultimate. That will keep her alive. It's a strong heal. It's a very strong heal. Plus, she's a reviver. So if anybody dies, she can bring them back to life. And then she's giving your team increased defense too. So it's just it's just really strong. Honestly. If you're free to play a low spender and you have her, she's very strong for progression. Yeah, I'd like to think Nathaniel as well. You can never get Cyphers to work? Why not? I played her. I played her on the test server quite a bit to go through content. And she was doing amazing heals here. And then, like I said, increased defense on your team is, is great. She dies too quick? Well, yeah, yeah. You got to make sure you... She's dying because she's killing herself. You got to make sure you have ways to give herself health, right? You got to have the gear that can give her 20% of her max HP, which I guess now would be 15% of the lowest person's max HP, which would still go to her. But that gear of 20% of her max HP was really strong on her. And then, of course, if you have another another healer on your team like a second healer or a second like backup somebody somebody like Zarloth to help out with healing that'll help keep her alive too but she's strong I mean she really is she's strong far stronger than somebody like this guy that we got from our event 
far, far better than this dude right here. This guy brings you back to life at 30% of your HP as well. Same thing. Like, like this skill. Look at this skill. Grants defense up to and resurrects, uh, resurrection at death. So this resurrection at death, this debuff has to be up on you when you die. With her, she's just going to bring you back to life with 30% HP. This guy's going to bring you back to life with 30% HP only if this buff is on you. That means you can't have it removed. You can't have it blocked. It's got to be up during that time. But she... If you die, she can just bring you back. You don't have to wait for anything. This guy, if you die and slip between this buff, which is going to happen all the time, he can't bring you back. She is far better. Plus, she's got an amazing heal right here. I'm telling you. She's good. You just got to have a way to, to get her health. That's it. But it's very strong. Like what she does, all of her moves are very strong. Resurrected summons. I wish he just resurrected. Man, I wish he just had the exact abilities as her, but a little bit better. Like did, maybe he didn't do damage to himself. But that's why she's so strong, because she's doing damage to herself. But if this guy had resurrection instead of resurrection at death, like if he just revived people, 